The next inductee to the 2009 Canada Healthcare Hall of Fame Awards is Mike uh, Curley. Uh, those of you who know Mike know that we've unfortunately and tragically lost him uh, a little while ago, and this award is being presented uh, posthumously by his former business partner and currently the uh, president of Brand Health, Mr. Paul Hickey. Paul? For anybody who knew Mike, um, he was the most fearless, intimidating, um, competitive person I've ever met and to see him there staring back at me in a sweater I don't think I've ever seen a picture of Mike in a sweater before um, he was much more intimidating in his Toronto Argonaut or Calgary Stampeder uniform and uh, he also thought he looked pretty good in a Harry Rosen suit as well um, you might think I might stand here and talk about uh, Mike being an ag guy and me being an ag guy about all the illustrious campaigns and things like that, but I'm not going to do that because I think what was most important to Mike and what he was most proud of was building market force from scratch. He left the fairly comfortable, secure world of a kind of star product manager at Lilly back in the early 90s. Um, he left that with a wife who was going through med school and with other partners who had wives who were pregnant. We weren't famous, we weren't very popular in our household at the time, but he left that to start something from scratch. And his legacy was building an agency that went on to become, I think, one of the preeminent healthcare agencies in Canada. And he watched it grow to the point where three of the world's biggest agency holding, com holding companies wanted to bring market force into its network. Mike was different in that he, he was a very f physical person and he, he didn't measure success by billings or profitability. He measured it by how many people were in the building. He measured it by the size of his payroll. It's, and, I, and I stand here as his former business, business partner. There was nothing that gave him greater pleasure than to see the monthly payroll grow. He just loved the fact that we were hiring more and more people, that the agency was growing. Um, every year, he would stand at the Christmas party and just sit back and just love the fact that there were now 30 or 40 or 45 people, 90 people, including their spouses. When we had the Market Force Christmas party, he loved the fact that there were 20, 30, 40 kids there who were there because their mom or dad worked at Market Force. That's what Mike was all about. And I think if he was, if he was here today, uh, the thing that he would be most proud of was building something like Market Force from scratch. Um, just a couple more things, um, and I've seen some of you in the room today. I think to former clients of Mike, and I would say um, people who were lucky enough to have him work on their business, um, I think Mike would be most proud and most happy to know that that by having him on your business, by having him in your meetings, not just the big strategy meetings, but the day-to-day -day sessions, to have him there sitting beside you, rolling up his sleeves with his magic marker in his hand, um, there'd be nothing that would make Mike happier than to know that having him on your team made you feel stronger. From a sales and marketing point of view, having him sit beside you, this incredible presence, to just know that in the world of sales and marketing, the world was your oyster. That's what would make Mike really proud. I think if you were a competitor of Mike's um, back in the heyday, and I see some of the people in the, in, in the room here today, um, there's nothing that would make Mike more happy and more proud than to know that he was a formidable competitor to yours, especially in pitches. He kept tally of his pitch record and was very, very proud that over a span of six or seven years, it was 25 wins and four losses. Um, that's what would make Mike most happy. I think from a personal point of view, um, three-person business partnerships, for anybody who's been in one, are never easy, um, especially with an intimidating force like that guy. Um, but I can't think, it would just be impossible to think of a better business partner 
than Mike, and I know I speak on behalf of Greg when I say that as well. So um, I really appreciate this honor, and I'm really honored to be here today to accept this Hall of Fame induction um, for Mike Kirkley. Thank you.